Hello students, today we're going to be learning about St. Catherine Drexel. St. Catherine Drexel is the patron saint of racial justice and philanthropists. Our learning objective for the day. I can explain who is St. Catherine Drexel. I want you to take a look at the right hand corner where you will see an emoji with the pen tool. When you never see that emoji, whether it's presenting or Google Meets, that's, a, that's to indicate that you need to write this down in your notebook. So make sure you have your religion notebook with you, and if you don't, this is the moment to go get it and to write down these notes. So once again, when you see the little emoji on the right hand corner, that means that you need to write this down in your notebook. So go ahead, pause the video, and go get your religion notebook. Okay, are we ready? So make sure you write down St. Catherine Drextro. Her name, nice and big, that is the title of your notes. And then you're gonna write the learning objective. I can explain who is St. Catherine Drextra. Repeat it after me. I can explain who is St. Catherine Drextra. So we're gonna talk about a little bit about her life today. St. Catherine Drextra is the second American born saint to be canonized by the Catholic Church. Remember who the first saint was? We already covered her in the school year. It's St. Elizabeth Ann Seaton. So St. Catherine Drexel is the second American born saint. That's a very cool fact to know about her. Also, Catherine was born in Philadelphia on November 26, 1858. Her father was a prominent and wealthy banker. Both Catherine and Louisa, her sister, received a wonderful education with private tutors throughout the United States and Europe. The family were very devoted in practicing their faith. As you can see, there is the emoji pen tool with it. So make sure you write down these notes in your notebook right underneath your learning objective. If you need to pause the video, go ahead to make sure you write down all your notes. Next, we'll continue about St. Catherine Drexel's life. After Catherine's parents passed away, she felt very anxious about her fortune. She traveled Europe and had a private view with Pope Leo XIII. Pope Leo asked her to, instead of donating money to charities, she should become a missionary. A missionary is a person who is sent on a religious mission, especially one set to promote Christianity in a foreign country. Also, don't forget, as you can see, the emoji pen symbol is in the right-hand corner. That means we need to write these notes down in our notebook as well. And it's very important to highlight the definition of missionary. Highlight the word missionary and write, It is a person who sent on a religious mission, especially one sent to promote to Christianity in foreign country. So we know. So what do we know about St. Catherine Drexel right now? We know that she was born in a wealthy family, and that her parents were very Catholic and practiced the religion. We know that they were like to, they liked to help others, and they would invite them over to their home, have give them food, shelter, whatever they needed. So they were a very generous family, and we know this that when Catherine was older, she wasn't sure what to do, so she went and talked to Pope Leo the Twelfth. And he asked her, well, well, what charities do you need for me to donate? Like, I have lots of money. Who can I help out? But Pope Leo was like, no, Catherine, why don't you come and become a missionary? Go out and help people by doing an example instead of just giving money out. So that is exactly what she did. We're going to stop here today and we'll continue more tomorrow. If you need to rewind the video to write down your notes, go ahead and pause where you need to. If you need to hear this video again, you may replay it, but make sure you log into Seesaw and complete the assignment for today.